Wait, how does that? <laughs> 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 Well, uh, there's something uh, a little bit different uh, today at the warehouse. Uh, As you, know. you guys might know, mm -hmm. Halloween is coming up. Mm -hmm. This weekend. That's right. That yeah. close. It's that close. And we decided to get in character ourselves a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I, Sienna Blaystone, your regular host, am dressed up as Daniel mm -hmm. and Harrison. Yeah, I'm just as Gen 13. Uh, you know, they're just not appreciated enough. So we just really not. we wanted to uh, show mm. show them some appreciation by dressing up as them because they do so much, so, so much. They they're the glue that holds the live show together. It's, it we really, couldn't do it without yeah, them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. no. We just could not put on this scale of a production no. without both of them here. No, and uh, I'm actually considering naming my firstborn after them. Oh really? That's yeah. amazing. Like a hype, like a hybrid name, or uh, still haven't decided if we want to like uh, mesh them together, do like a, a hyphen, a middle, a middle, first and middle name. We'll figure it out. Yeah, you've got time. We've yeah, got time. We've got, got time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's get into what to pick up. So. Uh, last week, you might have gone to your local comic shop hoping to pick up some, uh, some, uh, Gunslinger Spawn, <laughs> and then realized it got pushed back a week because of printer issues. Uh, not anymore, baby. We got them! Gunslinger Spawn number one in store this week. Arriving on horseback. On horseback! On the Old Town Road! <laughs> uh, so, Gunslinger Spawn, super big issue. It's got... Three separate gunslinger stories that span across time, all the way from the Wild West to the 21st century. Really? So it's a big span. Uh, and we've got covers. We got a lot of covers. We got covers by <laughs> Brett Booth. Gotta have a Brett Booth cover. You have to have a Todd McFarlane cover. Absolutely. I mean, come on. Todd Father himself. The Todd Father. Uh, Greg Capullo. We got Robert Kirkman doing a cover. Kirkman. And more. You'll see them all on the screen here, hopefully. Uh, you got a 1 in 50 Capullo Blue Line sketch variant. Oh, those are so I know gorgeous. you love those, Sienna. I do. Uh, and then, the one everyone's hunting down, that 1 in 250 McFarlane signed variant. Oh, hopefully it's on screen. Uh, yeah, it's going to be phenomenal. Uh, and that's a uh, Gunslinger Spawn. Uh, shifting over to Boom, we've got House of Slaughter. Uh, you guys enjoying uh, Something is Killing the Children? Uh, do not endorse the killing of children. However, uh, James Tinney is back. He's writing a prequel story with art from uh, Chris Shaden. Uh, you know him from the Autumnal and uh, Werther. I can't read anything. <laughs> that's my thing, Sienna. As I'm stepping on your territory. I apologize, Harrison. Uh, Werther Dill Adara. Thank maybe. you. Uh, the artist from the uh, original something is killing the children. Oh, that would have been a good thing to not mess up. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, the A cover is from Chris Sheedon. Um, Dell Adara is doing that B cover. You got a foil with a. Uh, we got a secret variant on this one, Ooh. a blood red variant. We got a one in 25, a one in 50, a one in 100, mm -hmm. a one in 200. Surely so, that's it, right? One in 200, they stop there. You would think, you would think, but. There's more. There is a one in 500 Ooh. variant from Del Mundo on this title. Oh yeah, and that one in 50, like, uh, homaging another one of Tinian's work. That's right. You guys seen the cover for um, Nice House nice on house the Lake? Legs. I yeah. can't remember words. Yeah, Nice House on the Lake, little homage in that one in 50. So I think that one especially is going to be really especially. sought after. Those homage covers, remember the uh, Department of Truth and Something is Killing the yep, Children ratio? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Mm -hmm. Took the words right out of your mouth, Sienna. Absolutely, Harrison, as you always do. Yeah, so uh, we will definitely have plenty of copies of House of Slaughter. Uh if you guys want to uh, take take a look, if you guys been digging something that's killing the children, uh, and you know, not to be outdone, James Tinian the Fourth has two books 
releasing this week. The fourth is very important. The fourth is very important, yes. I sometimes forget it. Uh, so, James Sandy and the fourth and Matt Rosenberg teaming up for DC versus Vampires. That's right. If you're a fan of Deceased, definitely pick this up. Uh, we got art by Otto Schmidt. So, it's very, uh, like I said, Deceased style. It's the Justice League versus Vampires. Spooky. Very spooky. You got that brilliant A cover by Otto Schmidt where you got Green Arrow and Batman teaming up. Batman's got a giant, like, stake and he's stabbing a vampire. No way. And Green Arrow has uh, arrows and he's, like, stabbing them with... <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> he's stabbing them with coming. arrows. Uh, we got a gorgeous Francesco Mat Matina B cover of Batman as a vampire. As a vampire. As a vampire. He's converted. He's converted. Uh, 1 in 25 by Jorge Molina. Okay. And one in one hundred by Daniel Warren Johnson. So this is definitely a book to pick up just in time for spooky Please. season, and uh, definitely not something to be missed, uh, especially if you missed out on Deceased when it was first coming out. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Um. Speaking of Halloween, just mm -hmm. to kind of keep this train running and Batman, um, I'm sensing a theme tonight. There's there is a little bit of continuity here. Yes. Um, Batman The Long Halloween Special Ooh. from uh, Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale reuniting. Um, after... And it feels so good. It's great. I mean, <laughs> I know I dressed up as Daniel for Halloween, and I wanted to talk about this one specifically because mm -hmm. I know how much he likes To that get into team. character. Absolutely. Yeah, it was a real commitment. Mm -hmm. um, but it, um, it's fallen up on that story after so many years, and no secret remains buried forever. Ooh, and we've got a few covers. We okay, have an A cover. Okay. By Tim Sale. That's only right. That's only we right. We have a B cover by okay. Tim Sale. Okay, okay, they're keeping it going. And uh -huh. we have a 1 in 25 by... You keep, Jock? Yes. That'd be cool, but Tim Sale. Tim Sale doing all the covers. He's such a hard worker. Mm-hmm. Um, Shout out to Tim Sale. Absolutely. You Who's definitely it, watching. <laughs> absolutely. Please, please like and Please subscribe. like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> um... Again, on the same train as Halloween, are we're doing something for Halloween, aren't we? We're doing more than one something for Halloween. We are. I think uh, we've got a live show. We've got a live show for on Halloween. The 30th. On the 30th. Mischief Night. Witches Night. Hell's Night. Mm-hmm. Uh, other Nights. <laughs> other Nights. Uh, yeah, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., so a little bit early in the day, especially good for uh, the West Coasters. Oh, for sure. Um, you know, we're not done starting it too early. We're not starting it too late, like Goldilocks. Just right. Just right. Perfect. And we've got some great sets. Yeah, what have we got? Because I'm not going to be on the show, unfortunately. But I know you, Sienna, are. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I will be hosting the show again. Uh, is Tarni going to be there? Tarni's going to be there Tarni as well. Tarni will be there as well. We've got a... Um, We've got a set of Swamp Thing. Ooh. We've got the first Blade. Like the first appearance of like Blade? Like the first appearance of Blade. Not oh. only... Not just the first appearance of Blade, but also a near complete run of Tomb of Dracula. Wow. How long has Hardy been, been hoarding all of this? Literally since before last Halloween special. So over a year. Well over a year. Wow. But something else that we're doing on mm -hmm. Halloween. Yeah, if or... you are local, uh, come on by. Carrie and Durham will each be hosting Derek Riggs. The, the Derek Riggs. The Derek Riggs, creator of Eddie. Ed, like Iron Maiden's Iron Eddie? Iron Maiden's Eddie. No way. Uh, he is going to be at our Carrie location on Mischief Night. Uh, on October 30th and at our Durham location on Halloween proper. He's going to be signing. We have some exclusive prints. You can order those on our website if you're not able to come to the stores physically. UltimateComics.com. Little plug there. Uh, come and get your Iron Maiden uh, records signed. Oh, for sure. Get some posters signed. T-shirt. Get yourself signed. Might uh, as well. Might as well. Get that get, get your arm signed. You know, nice little nice little arm signature. Brock, if you yeah. can add that in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so great way to celebrate Halloween in person. And if you're not able to come to any of the stores, we got our Halloween live show for you to celebrate Halloween. We've got you covered. Yeah. And celebrate Halloween a little bit early. This Wednesday, 
October 27th, Ooh. Marvel celebrating Halloween with us by some free comics. Who doesn't love free stuff? Yeah, so they're uh, giving out some reprints. You head over to your favorite Ultimate Comics location, Carrie, Raleigh, or Durham. Uh, I was really waiting for you to sprout a third arm there. <laughs> Carrie, Raleigh, <laughs> or Durham. <laughs> yes. Uh, they are going to have reprints of Hawkeye number one, and this is Hawkeye's Number one, as in Kate Bishop's first solo series. As in appearing in the upcoming Hawkeye TV show. Yes, coming Kate out Bishop. in November, Kate Bishop. So very timely for that one. Uh, Daredevil number 28. Uh, so Elektra what? as Daredevil starting her run. They're going to be reprint costume. reprinting that. Uh, Star Wars High Republic number one is going to be reprinted oh. for free. It was so hard to get a copy of that after like the mm -hmm. first week. And then uh, the second prints, the third prints, those were also so oh, hard yeah. to get a hold of. Those went like that. And, not to be outdone, Miles Morales, Spider-Man number one. Miles Morales. Spider-Man. That's Number awesome. one. So you can get your hawks, your spiders, your devils, your wars. <laughs> all in one convenient place. Yep, all at your all favorite Ultimate free. Comics. All for free. <laughs> Stop on by on mm. Wednesday, October 27th, and we will have those for you till you can start spooky season a little bit early. Get your uh, Halloween reads done a little bit early this year. Yeah, and then last we got a bit of a spooky adjacent character. Ooh, here. adjacent. Uh, yeah, like next to. Next to? <laughs> oh, that's what that means. Okay. Yeah. This week I, I learned should... adjacent. <laughs> and uh, this should be continued in fu future installments. We'll do. We'll make sure to include it. Absolutely. But Moon Knight number four drops this week. A day in the life of Moon Knight. Moon Knight, Ooh. I mean, he's, he's been hanging out with some uh, some vampires. We've had a few zombies in there since this series started. So lots of uh, Halloween vibes. Absolutely. Uh, and then, because we just love doing things for you. For you. For you, specifically. Mm -hmm. You. You who are watching. You. You. <laughs> um... We have our exclusive cover for Moon ooh. Knight number four coming out this week. Ah. Uh, with the uh, Tigra. Is it Tigra? Did I spoil that for you? I apologize. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I know she was appearing in the issue, so she's like doing a little guest appearance on the interior and the cover. We're doing another one of those frame variants. Uh, who's the artist? Who is the artist? Art Adams. Come on, Sienna, you should know this. I should be on top of things. Yeah. I've been... uh, what's the, how many, how many copies are there going to be? 2,000. Limited 2, to 2,000 copies. copies. Frame variant, you know, you love our retro frame variant line. Pick one up, Tigra, Art Adams, you love him, you love her. It's a perfect combination. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we are definitely going to have those on the Ultimate Comics live show, Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, tune in. We'll be back on Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern. That's right. And the triple Halloween dose. Show. Yep. Halloween show, Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern time. So you get a triple dose of Ultimate this week. That's right. So, uh, yeah. So that's a, those are a lot of good books. I don't know what to pick to really? look forward to because I'm like, oof. Honestly, we got probably all of them. All of them. Yeah, I'm just going to be there and just put at one of everything. Please. All of the books. All of the books. I will take everything. I'll just be walking out. Dude, 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 like, <laughs> they'll need like several diamond boxes for all the books. Because this is a good week. This is a week. really, it's a really stacked week mm -hmm. this week. Uh, yeah. And with that, uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video out. And we will see you next week. Next time. Alright. Bye. Bye. I think that went well. It is because it's gonna go. Yeah. Sorry, Brockton. We appreciate the hard work that you yeah. do as well. We appreciate you, Brockton. We give you this dumpster fire. <laughs> Watch it not be recording. Don't, don't say. <laughs>